Before starting a detailed presentation, let me briefly summarize the key points of our work. In a nutshell, we introduced a new cross-modal knowledge distillation framework, namely decomposed distillation. As shown in the left of the figure, the conventional distillation method transferred the motion knowledge to the RGB model directly, leading to entangled multimodal information. This makes it difficult to balance between the two modalities. In contrast, our framework first decomposed the motion and appearance features and then learned them separately, which will be combined for final prediction in the end. In this way, we can better exploit multimodal complementarity, significantly improving the RGB-based model. If you want more details, keep watching this video. This paper specifically focuses on the task of temperature detection, where we aim to predict the temporal interval, that is, starting and ending time stamps, as well as the class for every action instance in the given video. This task is known to be very challenging due to variable action lengths and ambiguous action boundaries. To date, a variety of methodologies have been designed to tackle the challenging task and show promising performance. For accurate action detection, most of them leverage two modalities as inputs, namely RJ frames and optical flow. It is well known that RJ frames provide appearance information while the optical flow focuses on motion cues. Hence, they are complementarity to each other, and employing both modalities helps to achieve a good localization performance. However, the gains come at a cost. The optical flow is computationally expensive. For example, the most commonly used TVL1 requires 3.8 minutes for a 1 minute video over 30 fps with its resolution of the square of 224. Then, why don't we discard the costly optical flow and perform inference based solely on the RG frames? So we conducted a quick experiment to see the reliance of previous action detection models on the optical flow. Not surprisingly, they heavily rely on the optical flow and show sharp performance drops when taking only RG frames as input. One may come up with a cross-modal distillation, where the motion-based model is a teacher and the RGB-based model is a student. Here, by transferring the motion knowledge to the student, we can improve its performance. However, the conventional distillation does not suit our case. Different from the conventional setting, there is no privileged modality for temperature detection, and exploiting the multimodal complementarity is important. However, the conventional distillation that directly transfers the motion knowledge leads to entangled multimodal representations, making it hard to balance between the two modalities. Hence, we introduced a novel distillation framework that is more suitable for our problem setting. In the new framework, called decompose distillation, the student decompose the appearance and motion features first and then learn them separately. By doing so, we can explicitly disentangle the multimodal information and better exploit its complementarity. This is an instantiation of our cross-modal distillation. For explicit decomposition of multimodal information, we propose a dual branch architecture with a shared head and conflicting training objectives. Specifically, the appearance branch takes supervision signals from the ground truth, while the motion branch is guided by the motion teacher through distillation losses. An important implementation design is that the two branches share the weights of action detection heads. Given the same detection head and conflicting objectives, they are encouraged to extract modality-specific information from the entangled representations. In the end, the multimodal features are combined by the proposed local attentive fusion and used for final prediction. We also propose a novel local attentive fusion to combine the information from different sources. We found in the experiments that the existing attentive mechanisms such as self-attention and cross-attention allow global interaction in the temporal dimension, bringing about the feature of a smoothing issue. This is especially harmful for temperature detection, where the local feature discriminability is essential. Therefore, we propose a new fusion method that suppresses information exchange of different feature locations. 
It will be validated in the experiments that our local attentive fusion is effective for temperature detection. After training is done, our model can perform action detection based on multimodal information given on the RGB frames as input. In the experiment, through the ablation studies, we validate the effectiveness of the proposed methods. The first thing we can observe is that the conventional distillation brings only marginal gains, while the proposed decomposed distillation largely improves the performance. Our local attentive fusion further boosts the performance by appropriately combining the multimodal information. Also, our local attentive fusion shows superior performance over other fusion methods. One thing to note is that the conventional global attentive mechanisms hamper the performance, which is due to the feature of a smoothing issue. Our model is designed to be very abstract, so we can adopt any types of backbones and action detection heads. And in these experiments, we verify that the proposed method is generalizable to various backbones and action detection heads, showing significant improvements over other combinations. In the state-of-the-art comparison, our method achieved the best performance among RGB-based models, effectively closing the gap with two stream approaches while being computationally efficient. Uh, these are our conclusions. We introduced a new cross-modal distillation pipeline that learns multimodal information in a decomposed way. We showed in the experiments that our method is generalizable to any backbones and action detection heads. Lastly, our approach is very abstract, so we believe it can be applied to other multimodal tasks that require multimodal complementarity. Okay, this is the end of my presentation. If you are interested, please read our paper for more details. Thank you.